So in this little video segment, we're going to talk about mentoring. So let's just have a good time with this and connect because that's exactly what we need you to do, what your workers need you to do with them. No matter how many workers you have, each of them need three key things from you to be successful. Measurement, connection, and relevance. I'll say that again. Measurement, connection, and relevance. So I'm going to talk about these. People typically don't quit a company. They typically quit their boss. They, qu they typically quit their, the people that they report to because they're not happy. And nowadays, and let me be clear about this, in my opinion, we don't have a worker shortage. We have a worker utilization problem. I'll give you an example. A project that knows what they're doing from a scheduling standpoint can use 80 electricians on a similar size project as a contractor that knows what they're doing and they only need 24. How many times, like I said in previous videos, are people just throwing money manpower and materials at, at problems to attempt to make them go away. So you can, I want to be very clear about this, out of all of the whining that's going on right now of we don't have enough people and there's a worker shortage, like you can recruit and hire and develop the right people. It's not that there's a shortage of people that want to work. It's that they don't want to work for you. They want the Googles of the world. They want people that treat them with respect. They want, they want more mobile environments. They're not into the same like loyal hierarchical things that we used to be into back in the day. We need to form connections with people where they are, not where we think they should be, as long as they are honest and ethical and hardworking. And so what I'm challenging you to do is to really get to know your people and to really start to connect. They're not numbers, they're not assets, if you will, they're human beings, and they need us to do those three things. Do you remember what they are? They need connection, relevance, and measurement. So let me talk about all three of those. And if you forget about what I said after watching these videos, you can always go back to the book, The Truth About Employee Engagement by Patrick Lencioni. He has a series of fantastic books. So let me tell you what each of those mean. So let's first start with connection. Even though they're workers and they're the most important person on the project site, but they're sometimes mobile, right? Even though they might be mobile workers, you need to get to know them. I'm telling you that to help you. Get to know them. How are their families? Where do they drive from? What are, they in, what are their interests? Are they doing okay right now mentally? Are they depressed? You can ask any of these questions because the only thing you can't do is discriminate based on a protected class. So I can know somebody's military status, I just don't discriminate against it, right? I can know somebody's preferences in life and how they live their personal life, but I don't discriminate against it. So sometimes people are like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I'm, I'm not even going to ask the question. No, no, no. If you have people, why don't you know them? Why, do they have children? Are their kids selling Girl Scout cookies? Are they going on a camp out? When's their next vacation? People want to be known. They want to be seen, like really seen. I heard a quote one time that said, how cool would it be if somebody asked you how you were doing if they actually cared and they stood there and waited for the real answer? right? That's what they want. They want you to know them. Even if it's one little thing, baseball game, dinner, movie night, how are you doing? How are you really doing? Like you don't look good. You don't look like you feel really well today. Like get to know them and form that connection. Everybody needs that. Even the toughest personified person in construction needs human and emotional connection, even if they pretend they don't. The second thing, Relevance. Every worker on your crew has to know, like not think, not guess, not hey they can figure it out. They have to know how they're relevant to the success of that crew and to supporting you and your role as foreman. And you just, and if somebody said, Jason, how do you do this? You look them in the eye and you say, you know what, so and so, if you weren't doing this role, we would be having a heck of a time. You are so relevant. 
because you do this and you enable me to do my job. Everyone needs that connection and what I just said is they need to know how they are relevant to what we are doing and that's how human beings engage. Okay, the third thing is measurement and I'll tell you a story from the book. There was a pizza kitchen Italian restaurant where the owner was experimenting with these techniques and he went to the person in the drive-thru and he said, how do you determine whether or not you're winning? Well, I guess it's when I take cash from the customers and make a sale. Well, is that really how, what, you know, what winning looks like that day? Um, well, maybe, how else could I measure it? Well, what's really going to drive the business, right? Well, it could be how many of the customers through the drive through smile. And then they got a metric that he could use and he could track it every day. How many of all the total customers could I get to, regardless of how they showed up, to smile when they came through that restaurant? When people started acting like that inside that organization, their sales started to skyrocket because they had highly engaged people solving problems together for the benefit of the business to support and care for customers. So your folks need mentoring, they need coaching, and you cannot avoid that responsibility as a foreman. They need connection, relevance, and measurement. It works every time. If you're like, Jason, that's kind of basic. Yeah, but I get, I, it happens nowhere. Like you right now, go to a job, find somebody that's doing it. It's not happening but it's the magic formula. If you wanted to just summon like a magic, like a bag of magic out of nowhere and just like fix your people, like that's it. Connection, relevance, measurement. Like right there, I just gave you a bag of magic. You couldn't pray and get good enough, good, better information than that. You have to follow the pattern. Everything in life is about pattern recognition and pattern creation. So create those patterns with your people. Because a leader, like I said, and I'll keep repeating this, you build your team, you have the hard conversations, you coach, manage, and mentor your direct reports, you hold remarkable meetings, and you scale communication. And don't get mad at me, but I'm going to say this. If you don't do those five things, then you are not a leader yet. Yet. But you can be. So get in there and start working with your people because if, if I'm a superintendent, your workers aren't going to see me. I'll see them for a little bit in the worker huddle in the morning. They're going to see you. And they will provide an honest and fair and remarkable day's work based on the wages that they get. That's good. That's done. But based on the fulfillment and the success that they feel based on their relationship with you and the company that they work with. So please go be that dynamic mentor, that coach, that leader for your crews in construction.